Welcome to the Santa Cruz Bowls Club. We are demonstrating common hand signals used in lawn bowling. Hand signals are used to make a game run smoothly and to minimize the amount of noise during a game. Lawn bowling signals can only be used when your team has the mat and any communications after the bowl has stopped is considered interference and may be called as such. Hands, arms, legs, and feet may all be used in proper signal technique. A game at each end begins with the rolling of the jack. The skip will indicate the distance to which the jack should be rolled. The skip stands with legs spread apart at the point on the center line to which he or she wants the jack to be delivered. Signals are used to center the jack. This jack has stopped about two feet to the right of the center line as viewed by the bowler. The hands are raised by the bowler to show the skip both the distance and the direction from the center line. The hands are raised on the side you want the skip to move the jack. Keep your hands well to the side of your face which makes for a clearer view of the hands. As the skip moves the jack toward the center line, close the distance between your hands as the jack is moved closer and closer to center. When the jack is even with the center line, the arms are dropped downward as demonstrated. A bowler may have difficulty in seeing where the jack is located. Teammate in the head may indicate jack location by holding a hat or a towel behind the jack without touching the green. He or she may also use hand extended with fingers closed, palm facing the mat held directly above the jack. Now we're going to move the bowl to demonstrate where the jack is located. The skip may indicate where he or she wants the bowl to come to rest by extending his or her leg and placing the foot perpendicular to the center line at the desired spot. The skip may indicate on which side the bowl should be delivered using either the right or left arm. The arm is extended, pointing down with a small circular motion. The skip wants the bowl to come straight through with increased force. Arms are extended and raised from the elbows, hands indicate Hurry up with a slight reverse wave movement. If the bowl has been delivered short, has stopped before reaching the jack, hold your hands horizontally above your head to indicate the distance the bowl lies in front of the jack. If the bowl has been delivered long beyond the jack, Move your hand vertically above the green to indicate distance that the bowl lies beyond the jack. To indicate that the bowl has been delivered even with the jack, jack high, swing your arm side to side. The bowl is inbounds, standing at the rink boundary marker and verifying that the bowl remains inbounds, extend the arm pointing towards the center line. The bowl is out of bounds, standing at the rink boundary marker, verifying that the bowl has passed out of bounds. Extend the arm corresponding to the side on which the bowl is out, pointing away from the center line. Measurement required to determine the closest bowl. Hands together, fingers touching, opposing thumb. Move your hands apart as if measuring.
to indicate the location of bowls. For an opponent's bowl, point to the bowl and make a brushing movement. To indicate the location of your team's bowls, point to the bowl and then to yourself. You're on the mat. You're asking the question, are we up or down? Using your right arm, slightly bent at the elbow, hold your arm up and down. Your team score. To indicate your team score, pat your left shoulder once for each shot that your team has scored. In this case, your team has scored two points. Opponent score. Pat the outside of your right thigh once for each shot the opponent has scored. In this case, your opponent has scored two points.